Hello, welcome back to my kitchen. Well, today you're not in my kitchen, you're in my backyard. <laughs> so I'm going to show you how I make my peppered fish or fish sauce or just, you know, fish coated with some pepper sauce. It is so, so delicious. And I want to show you how to make it. The fish I'm using for this recipe is called croca fish. I've already cut it, washed it, and I'm seasoning with some salt. This is all purple seasoning. It has like white pepper, black pepper, oregano, and some other herbs in it. So I just like using it as my everyday spice. I'm also going to be seasoning with some paprika because I like the bit of color that it gives to this fish. If you don't have paprika, you do not have to worry. All you need is salt, to be honest. But I'm just being extra and using flavors that I like. So I'm using the paprika and I like to use curry powder when I'm frying my fish. I feel like curry powder and fish is like a perfect marriage made in heaven. Next, what you do is make sure you combine the seasoning with the fish. You can just, you know, flip it and shake it the way I'm doing it. Please try not to use your hands because this fish has fins and it will enjoy you. <laughs> so just shake it like I'm doing it and make sure you sieve your fish so that all the water can drain out. You can allow your fish stay in the seasoning like marinated for a few minutes but I'm going to fry immediately. So I'm just putting some vegetable oil in a white pad and I'm going to put the fish inside. If you're somebody that has been struggling with frying fish perfectly. I know when I was a little girl, <laughs> when I just started my ministry of cooking, fish used to frustrate my life, but I will share with you a tip that will help you now. First of all, I'm going to put some onion and I just like the flavor that onion gives to the fish. This is just personal, you don't have to do it. If you are frying meat, this is so good. Please try and use this step. Every step I take in my cooking <laughs> adds a bit of flavor. So you can do as I say or do as I do. For more recipes from me, check out my new cookbook. As you can see on the screen, it is a digital book. So anywhere you are in the world, you can get it. Go to my description box and you'll be able to download a couple. I have over 30 recipes that I haven't shared on this channel. So feel free to check it out. Now here the wahala day, as you can see the fish is stuck to the pan. If you pull too hard it's going to scatter and then your fish is ruined. And if you leave it to stay longer thinking okay if it cooks more then it's going to unstick from the pan your fish is going to get burnt. So the tip is to sprinkle flour which is baking flour and just put it in the pan and then you put your fish. You can choose to do it that way or you can put the flour around the fish before you start frying. Either way is fine but I prefer the method of just putting the flour in the oil and you will notice when I'm done frying this it is not going to stick to the pan at all. So if you struggle with scattering fish please try this tip.
now I'm done with frying we're going to make this sauce I'm using the oil used to fry the fish for additional flavor I heard some people once they use oil they just throw it away let me know if you are one of those <laughs> because I always reuse my oil um, especially for stews and sauces so I'm putting the oil I've added some onion and I use a lot you need a lot of onion for this recipe and like I said earlier curry and fish is perfect so I'm adding the curry so that it fries with the onion and then you can start to you know perceive the aroma once I've done that I'm going to transfer blended pepper and tomatoes that I previously boiled so this is just pepper tomatoes and onion mix and I'm just frying everything together As we go along you will notice to season this sauce I use some dried rosemary I also added a bit of salt and then a bit of fish seasoning and I think the last thing I added was some bay leaves Some people ask how do you know your stew is cooked I know my sauce or stew is ready when the oil floats to the top the way it is as you can see like this so now it is time to reintroduce the fish and this part gets tricky so all you need to do is put the fish and then just shake your pot slightly don't now put your spoon and be mixing everything as if you are making a bao turning a mala your fish will scatter so I've just Put all the fish and I'm going to mix everything together but unfortunately you will not see that clip because my camera died at this moment and I didn't know I was still you know cooking <laughs> but this is what my fish sauce looked like it was so so delicious after cooking I sprinkled some more onion and it gets softened with the heat of the fish and it adds additional flavor so I'm hoping you try this recipe because it is so so delicious I hope you tried my recipe if you do please tag me on social media I would love to see it thank you for watching today's video don't forget to click the like button I'll see you in my next video bye